I'm Eric Phillips, a polar explorer and guide. I'm in the Arctic with Greenpeace investigating the impact of climate change on Greenland and its glaciers. We've got a pretty unusual load for the helicopter today. Four kayaks are being flown to a site 50 kilometres up Peterman Glacier in northwest Greenland. There's a 30 knot headwind which will slow the journey from our base on the Greenpeace ship Arctic Sunrise. Why are we doing this? All in the name of science. I've ferried kayaks on many expeditions in the past to Patagonia and both the Arctic and Antarctic, using them along with skis, kites and even as bridges to facilitate my safe journey on the ice. What we're doing here today is significantly different. Our kayaks are strung in line carrying an ice penetrating radar system that will map a cross section of the ice shelf. This way we can examine how warm ocean currents are eroding the glacier's underbelly. Now we've been trying multiple times to do cross radar on this uh, glacier on foot and we keep on hitting crevasse fields so uh, we came up with a bright idea of utilizing the ship's kayaks. We strung them together and got a really really nice 25 kilometer radar line. The radar shoots through the water and penetrates the, the ice shelf below giving us a really good fix on the basal topography of the ice shelf. The greatest concern was the fact that water on a glacier eventually runs down into these large holes called moulins. They haven't quite opened up as yet, but we never know really what's happening on the surface of a glacier with the water. Any earlier and these rivers wouldn't exist. Any later and they'd be storm draining into the guts of the glacier. The onboard scientists are mapping the structure of the ice shelf and comparing it to earlier records. To what degree has Peterman been affected by climate change? Armed with new techniques, the glacier can now be explored inside out. <laughs> 